Roll your mat onto the floor and join me down here in a plank. We're gonna hold plank for another 30 seconds and chat about this video. About a year ago, a fitness challenge went viral on YouTube called the Baby Shark Ab Challenge. It's super effective, it's super hard, but it's also very advanced. So I have come up with a modification for that. So if you're not a 10 year old gymnast and you're more like a regular person, this is the workout for you. Three, two, one, drop to your knees, stretch back for a big breath, come on up and let's roll onto the back and begin. Take a peek down in the comments section. I've left you a link to the original Baby Shark Ab Challenge. For this modified version, let's start on the back, roll onto your back, roll your shoulders down and back. Okay, now Baby Shark has 10 verses and we're gonna use 20 seconds per verse. Once you're nice and straight on your mat, lift your hips, tuck your hands underneath you, lift one foot up, the other foot, and then we're gonna extend the legs at a point where you feel comfortably challenged and a point where your back feels safe. Okay, listen to your back this whole time. Promise me you're gonna do that. All right, verse number one, four, three, two, one. It's an isometric hold out in front. And this first verse is just like the build up, the do 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 do. I'm not gonna sing though, don't worry, don't worry. Six, five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Pull your knees into your chest. Second verse, baby shark. This is baby shark right here. We have four, three, two, begin. So again, it's 20 seconds to work, 10 to rest. Little baby shark. Tuck your chin, relax your shoulders. Abs super engaged. Five, Four, three, two, knees into chest for a quick recovery. Third verse, mommy shark. On mommy shark, we're gonna let the legs scissor past each other. Okay, the mommy shark jaws. Here we go, 20 seconds. Feel the back of your rib cage pushing into the mat so that your back does not pop up off of the mat. Four, three, two, one, pull it in. Next first, daddy shark. On daddy shark, we're gonna let both legs lift and lower. Three, two, rest is over, daddy shark. If this feels too hard on your back, I want you to go to one leg at a time and back up. Okay, so one leg or both. Five seconds. Two, one, and pull your knees in. Next verse, grandma shark. Okay, here comes the grandma shark. We're gonna bend the knee, pull it in, and push the other leg out. Begin. So the original baby shark app challenge takes less than 90 seconds. This version takes five minutes and 20 seconds. And we're gonna do it two times. We got our 11 minutes of crunches in. Plus we did that plank in the beginning, little bonus, and rest and recover. Grandpa shark now, both legs at once, and if the one-legged version feels safer on your back, I want you to go back to that. Here we go. and release. Let's go hunt is the next version and for our hunt we're going to use some flutter kicks here because we are swimming in the sea. Flutter kicks, let's go hunt. Three, two, one, quickly roll over into a tall plank, run away. Okay, so now we're getting chased, so we're gonna run away, but to get the best workout for our abs, I want you to pull your knee in, feel the abs do the work, feel that upside down crunch happening here in your plank. Three, 
three, two, one. Quickly have a seat. Feel your sits bones underneath you. Sit up nice and tall. Lean back. Take one arm and sweep it across your forehead. We made it out alive. We are safe at last. Safe at last. And if you need a hand behind you for support, leave one hand back behind you while the other one sweeps up and over. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's the end is the 10th verse. It's the end. We're gonna take our arms in a V shape, reach one across to the opposite hip and begin. The upper half of your torso is rotating. The lower half is stationary. And for more challenge, you can lift your heels from your mat. Four, three, two, one. Good, relax, rest and stretch. And that is our first round, five minutes. Round two, let's get ready here. Roll back, nice and easy. Put the, the back of your rib cage, push it into the mat. Isometric hold, ready, begin. The build up. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, rest if you need it. The second one is the baby shark. So if you need that little 10 second rest, go ahead and take it. If you feel like you can push through without, just keep rolling. Okay, baby shark. And release. Next one, mommy shark. We're gonna split the legs apart, keeping them as straight as possible, but if bending your knees is necessary for your back, that is fine. 15 more seconds. And release. Daddy shark, squeeze your upper inner thighs together. In fact, squeeze your legs together all the way from the upper thighs down to the heels. If this is too much for you, go to one leg at a time. And that looks like this. One leg drops, comes back up. Other leg drops, comes back up. 10 more seconds either way. And rest. Grandma shark. On grandma shark, we're gonna bend one knee, press the other leg out straight. Ready, begin. Three, two, one, and rest. Grandpa shark, both legs at the same time. Four, three, two, begin. And if, again, if the grandpa shark does not feel okay on your back, go back to the grandma shark. One-legged movements are always gonna feel better in this position than both legs and rest. Great job, next one, let's go hunt. We're gonna do some flutter kicks for that one. Ready, and begin. Lift your head if you are more advanced. I'm gonna keep my head down and my feet high. And if you look down at your toes, you're probably aligned with like where the wall meets the ceiling. Oh, we went over, okay. Optional rest period, roll onto the front, put your hands right underneath your shoulders, 
run away. Three, two, one. Have a seat on your mat. Find your sits bones. Hands out in front of you, nice and tall. Lean back into your recliner. Put one hand back behind you if you need to as you just sweep the hand across the forehead. We're safe at last. Take your heels up off of the floor for a more advanced exercise. Four more seconds. And the final one, we're gonna take our arms in a V shape and your heels can be up or down on the floor. Down on the floor is less intense. And done, and we are done, and that is the end. And there it is, your modified Baby Shark Abs Challenge. I hope you felt that. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think of it, and have an awesome day.